The flock. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words. The words of the developer. The developer. The developer, the person who takes our money and then gives us the product that should be value for money. Not yet, Mac. You haven't read the words. The Flock is an asymmetrical multiplayer thriller where you get to play as one of the agile monsters that make up the Flock. Hunt down and attack the carrier to take its place. Survive and fend off the terrifying Flock with the coveted light artifact. It's a multiplayer only game where you play as one of the flock, these hideous monsters who just scour the land. Well, the little maps. Little, little, little maps. In search of the light of Hunamakatamaha. And when you get the light of Hunamakatamaha and shine it onto one of your own kind, they will burn in eternal fire. But if they keep still, if they don't move, if they just cease, they turn to stone and cannot be harmed. But you turn the light off them, they become a horrific monster again. So you have to quickly turn your light back to it. Because only the light shall prevail in stopping the flock. Sounds like a good idea for a game, guys. It's, it's quite a fun multiplayer game. Um, quite scary, actually. Uh, as you wander around with the light shining in it and you can hear the monsters in the shadows and you, it's a bit like the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who only with the added light thing instead of the Weeping Angels you just look at them and they turn to stone this one you have to shine the light but it's, it's clearly inspired by that there is however a big f***ing flaw with this game not only does it crash so often that I couldn't even stream it I mean literally the stream there's a link you've got to watch this link this is this is my streaming attempt at the flock it is quite hilarious uh but at the same time for a game that retails at 12.99 and is finished not an early access it's a fucking disgrace you see it just crashes left right and center and i'm even having to film this in a window just so you can get some footage it's awful it's awful but that's not all guys it gets worse. Oh yeah. Not only is the gameplay quite shallow and repetitive and gets boring after, what, 20 minutes, but it only supports three to five players. But that's mild compared to what I'm gonna say now. If you look at the screen now, you'll see a number at the bottom. That represents how many of the flock are alive. Every time you die in game, anybody dies in game that number will i'm going to leave the number on the screen for a while you'll notice it going down every time somebody in a game dies the flock gets smaller when that number reaches zero you can no longer buy the game nobody can ever buy the game again there is a bit of a finale and then the game switches off nobody can ever play the game again if you bought it you paid your 13 pounds to fucking shy you can't play the game again. You can't. Here's what it says. This is reading the words of the developer. The flock will have a limited time to be purchasable. The time left for you to buy the game depends on the amount of lives left in the population displayed above. We commit ourselves to a hands-off approach and put the lastingness of the game into your hands. Isn't that f***ing nice of them, guys? With each death in the game, one life will be taken from the flock's population. When the flock's population reaches zero, the game will never be purchasable again. Only players who have the flock in their Steam library will then go to the next phase of the game and be able to partake in the yet-to-be-announced climactic finale. After the ending, the game will go offline permanently and no longer be playable. You know what I think the climactic finale is, guys? I think you're going to get a, a video of the developer laughing at us all, counting his money and saying, Hey! Hey, you've all f***ing fell for it. Because do you know what I think he's doing to you? I mean, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying this is fact. This is just my opinion. I think this is a big f***ing cop-out so he doesn't have to keep patching the game, so he doesn't have to keep paying for servers. Because guess what, guys? Everybody's game 
kind of you get sick of it after a while but because this is a multiplayer only game and guess why it's a multiplayer only game guys because they're the f***ing easiest to code once you've got the network code and you can pre-buy a lot of it now already done you don't have to do any kind of pathfinding ai or anything like that it's just a f***ing empty map a bit of net code get the players in jobs are f***ing good all you do right is as the light holder you have to shine your light at these blue things and they explode and give you some points <sniffs> then you get killed you become one of the flock again and then you kill the light guy who's trying to shine his tortured blue things and that's about it the only powers you have is you can change the width of the beam when you the torch bearer and as one of the flock you can kind of do like a teleport where you choose where you want to you press a button and it makes a stone image of where you are actually standing then you can run off press it again and teleport back to where your stone image was and so on and so forth it's it's not worth the money it's just it's got no depth it's got no depth to it you know a lot of people are saying that it's a cash grab because they've made this way of the game's only available for a certain amount of time so everybody dives in and buys it now there's nothing to buy it for there's hardly anybody playing. You're lucky if you can find a game. Then you're lucky if it doesn't crash. And it's full of bugs. He has to pay for these servers. But hey, once the big rush of people who bought the game have got it, he doesn't have to do anymore, does he? It's a big cop-out. Doesn't have to patch it. Doesn't have to pay for the servers because the game's gonna die and everybody knows it's gonna die and you bought the game knowing that the game's gonna die and he walks off with all the f***ing money laughing at everybody. It's f***ing disgusting. It is. That a game that you pay 12 99 for has a very limited life. How does he know how fast these are gonna go down? Well, to be honest, mind, to be honest, the game is so shit that the amount of people playing it, it's going to go on for at least f***ing 80 years the way it is now because no f***ers playing it because it's shit. It's shallow. It's f 12 90 f***ing 9? Really? 12 99 for this? For a few f***ing maps that only 3 to 5 players can play? No weapons, just a f***ing light? A torch walking around a map with a fucking torch in you and you and you and then you have the audacity the audacity to say right and then I'm gonna switch the cunt off and I want all your fucking mud. Is it worth a buy? Fuck off!